Sarah Squirrel and the Lost Acorns. On the edge of Hazelwood, in a large tree, lived Sarah Squirrel. Like most squirrels, she was always hungry. One day, when Sarah visited her secret store for an acorn snack, she found it empty. Oh dear! I don't remember eating everything, said Sarah, peering into all the corners just in case she'd missed something. Well, I guess I'll have to go out and gather more acorns. Sarah scampered down the tree trunk and along the forest path toward the oak trees deep in the woods. On the way, she met Mary Mouse. Sarah, I'm so glad to see you, she cried. Are you going into the woods? The babies are keeping me so busy, I haven't had time to find dinner. Would you bring me back a juicy berry? Sarah liked to help her friends, so she cheerfully agreed. Off she went, saying to herself, a juicy berry and acorns for me. Sarah hadn't gone much farther when she heard another voice. Who's there? asked Morris Mole, poking his head out of his mole hill. It's me! shouted Sarah loudly before she remembered that Morris was nearsighted, not deaf. If you're going into the woods, will you bring me back a crunchy leaf? asked Morris politely. They're so much better than the ones I find here. All right, I will, said Sarah in a quieter voice. She hurried on chanting, a crunchy leaf, a juicy berry, and acorns for me. Who's making that noise? said Barney Badger gruffly as he climbed out of his burrow. Oh, it's you, Sarah. Are you going into the woods? Yes, I am, said Sarah. Can I get you anything? Well, since you ask, I'd like a mushroom. And make sure it's a tasty one. A tasty mushroom, Sarah repeated. A crunchy leaf, a juicy berry, and acorns for me. Soon Sarah reached the oak trees. Lots of acorns, she thought happily, gathering them up. Plenty for my store and one for a snack. Next, Sarah found a mushroom. Tasty, she said, sampling a piece from its cap. She balanced the mushroom on top of the acorns and off she went. A little farther on, Sarah discovered a bright red berry and a crunchy leaf. She put them on top of the mushroom. Staggering along with her goodies, she didn't see the snail in her path and... Down fell Sarah, the acorns, the tasty mushroom, the crunchy leaf, and the juicy berry. Father, she said, gathering everything up again. She was really hungry now and couldn't wait to get home. When she arrived, Mary, Morris, and Barney were waiting for her. We thought you'd never come, barked Barney, eyeing the tasty mushroom. Thank you, Sarah, said Morris, thrilled with his crunchy leaf. I'll share this with my babies squeaked Mary, rushing away with the juicy berry. Suddenly, Sarah remembered her own snack. Where are my acorns? She cried, looking around. They were nowhere to be seen. Poor Sarah. She was so loaded down with food for everyone else, she'd lost her acorns. Well, I'll have to go back and get some more, she sighed.
As Sarah set out for the oak trees for the second time that day, a cheery voice called her name. Sarah, since you're going out, could you bring me back a seed? It was Victoria Vole. Oh no, not again, Sarah thought. And before Victoria could say anything else, she ran off pretending not to hear her. Poor Sarah, said Victoria to herself. I do believe she's going deaf.